We've got a great group live with us, which is fantastic. Yeah. Really excited for this. Um, what I'd like to know in the comments before we get started, um, if you're using High Level today in your agency to serve clients, just type GHL in the comments. I know I had you guys do a little bit of this on the front end. Amazing. Okay, so we've got a lot of Go High Level users in here. Um, how many of you guys do some type of review automation for your clients today? Like just type reviews if you're doing some type of reviews. Um, okay, so a lot of that as well. But I think we're here because we think there's room for improvement, right? There's room to leverage email better, to leverage SMS better, to leverage some of the automations based on responses and things. Um, and so I'm really excited because James has some really cool stuff that he's innovated on this front. And so without further ado, let me introduce James. Welcome. And thanks so much for coming on and sharing with the group. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it was crazy. Me and Josh were just talking. It was just the two of us. And then he like turned it on and then this all the all the videos started pouring out. I was like oh my gosh like and thank goodness it's like not in person but it's still it's still kind of crazy but <laughs> should, should I just jump in and start teaching yeah let's do it and guys if you could keep your web cameras on our goal is to make this interactive so he's going to show some things if you've got questions post them in the comments and uh, we'll do our best to uh, to answer your questions and make sure this is super practical and something you guys can put into play the day after today so, oh my goodness. <laughs> James, take it away. All right, guys. So, okay. Um, first of all, I'm a huge high level fan, one of their biggest fans. I think I just live and eat and sleep and breathe a uh, high level. Um, and I um I thought I would just start by like talking about like your your day-to-day -day business owner. I, I think of the the window cleaner, the plumber, you know, the 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 HVAC, the heating the air guy, right? Like they are so busy taking calls, driving to their appointments, climbing ladders, all that kind of stuff. I will tell you that when they're done and they're tired at the end of the day, the last thing they're thinking about is, oh, hey, I wonder I should follow up with so-and-so and send them a review request, right? Like, and so, but they're so important. I like to think of their, of their um, I like to think of their uh, Google, um, their Google, profile as like this living and breathing thing, right? Let's see here. So I actually have this cool little company locally here where um, where I do these birthday parties. That's going to be the use case that I that I came up with. It was I had the business kind of set up in high level already. So I had a, a Google uh, business profile. But if you come in, and I think that Google's like taking notes on this profile, right? How long has it been since anybody, has there been any activity, right? Has it been, has it been kept, kept up to date? Is this, is this business still even in business at all, right? And so when you have the automated reviews coming through, it's a signal, I think, I believe it's a signal to Google that, hey, this, is, this business profile is active and man, these reviews, they keep on coming in on a consistent basis. Let's go ahead and raise this up in, in, the, in the Google My Business rankings in the map pack, right? And so this is a, once we get this thing automated, it's gonna be very, very helpful to your clients, okay? So then, then high level comes along and makes it easier to at least say, hey, let me set up the, the let me get you, uh, have you guys seen where like you you send about you send a link in and it it puts you right into the to the five star review thing. You don't have to like go search for the thing and and click on reviews and then um you know and then and then find it right. You you basically I call it deep linking right into the stars four star five star. So let me know if you guys are familiar with that. Right, that's what, that's what we want to do. The least friction possible. Give we us wanna, one of the comments if you're familiar with that. You kind of yeah. get the difference between sending them to the root versus sending them to the actual. Okay, yeah. so it's new for some of you, but a lot of you guys, it's a pretty advanced group. A lot of you guys are pretty familiar. Cool. Okay, so um, so yeah, so high level comes along and they at least, now you have like some kind of automation here where you can, uh, you know, at least uh, someone, maybe they make a sale or maybe, uh, maybe uh, you drag the, drag the pipeline to a status a job is complete, then it makes sense to kick off that automation. And so that alone is going to put you leaps and bounds ahead of, of everyone else. Um, but I had a few more things that I did. Basically, I, I knew that high level had both their, their, um, they had both their phone number and they also had their, their email address. So I thought, well, um, what if I made an automation that would try to, to get it by, um, by texting? And then if it, can't, if it can't get it by texting, 
then why don't we kind of fail over to email, right? So we have their email, we have their phone. Why don't we fail over to their email and just keep trying, okay? And then uh, after I did that, I thought, um, you know, some of the demographics that we serve, maybe there, maybe there's a fair amount of landlines uh, that the, the that the phone that we have on file for them. The the file the phone number that we have on file for them is a landline. And so I thought, what if in high level, I could attempt to uh, send them a text message. If it fails, again, then just fail over to the email. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And we're gonna get a masterclass in, in automation as well on high level, just going through this process. Um, and uh, we're just gonna dive right in and you know, take notes, ask questions and things. Everything I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna bundle, I've already bundled it up, bundled it up and I'm just gonna deliver it to you uh, in a snapshot. I've had people, plenty of people paying me for this. Um, this is just a big thanks to Josh. You know, he's been super generous. You know, he, 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 uh, he sent me a book, you know, it, it, I mean, it was, uh, you know, and, and I love the community here. And so I just wanted to do a, a give back as well. Um, and so I'm excited to, to get this in your guys' hands. How about a dollar wow. sign in the comments if you're excited to get this gift and uh, get it <laughs> unpacked here, guys. Dollar sign in the comments. Amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the worst. I'm like the worst. I'm, I'm a computer. I'm just like an automation guy. I, I, I have to, I do have to sell occasionally, but I just, you know, I'm not the sales guy, just kind of the give, the give guy, the go giver type, but let's jump right in. And so, yeah, like I said, this is my power wheels parties, uh, sub account, right in high level. And it, uh, and it's connected. So step one would be to go to your integrations, right? So you have your integrations and to make sure that your Google My Business is connected, right? Okay, so you're in your sub account, you're gonna go to integrations, you wanna connect Google My Business, go through this process of you know, logging in and connecting to your, your business account or your client's business account. Okay, so once that's connected, you will go over here to reputation management, okay? And this is your leave a review link. Okay. And so what you'll do is you will generate that link. And that is the cool link that we talked about earlier. Okay. So let me show you what that looks like. For those that, let's see. Um, let me bring up a different profile. Let's try this one. So if you're logged in to Google somewhere, this is what I was talking about right here. So I'm basically deep linked in right into the five-star review, uh, four or five. I always like to encourage, uh, leave, a, leave a little bit of your experience, a couple sentences in your copy and your messaging say, hey, could you just leave you know, a sentence or two, right? I think that makes a big difference just versus like four, five, you know, just the stars. Any, it, the more con user generated content, I believe the better, okay? So that's the deep link that we wanna get, okay? So we got that deep linked right there. And now this is where this, this is where this starts to get cool is that if you guys are familiar with trigger links in high level, the really cool, I like to say that a trigger link, you can kind of listen. So it's like a programmer thing, you know, but I can essentially have that trigger link. I am listening in the automation for that link to be clicked. Okay. So now at me as the, as the agency owner I, or the, or the client, uh, I can, in the automation, I can basically say, hey, here's this link, you know, can you, uh, here's this link to leave a review. Um, and then I'm waiting to see if they click the link. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how that's done. So in order to build a trigger link, we're going to take, we're going to take this URL right here and we're going to go over to, um, let's see here, automation, no, let's see, here's the marketing trigger links. Okay. So you're gonna to go to trigger links and then click on links. And then you're gonna make a new one, add a link. And you'll say, uh, my Power Wheels Parties review link. Okay, I've already got this here below. This is actually live and stuff, but this is what you would do, right? So now I'm gonna save that and there it is, okay? So these are the special links that you have in high level that you can now listen to, to see if they were clicked, okay? <laughs> So now to see where these pieces kind of come together in the automation. So let's go over to the automation. Do 
you guys enjoying this so far? Any anything? Any feedback? <laughs> so so far so good. Keep, so far, keep pressing forward. Keep, okay, keep going. Okay. So I call this thing smarter review requests, and uh, the story behind it is is that I was actually taking my own car into the shop, and I I got the um, I got the after after the service had been completed, I got the email, I got the text message, and he said. Hey, you got your car service at such and such. Hey, uh, did, how would you rate your experience from on from one to five? And I said, oh, a five. And it really was a five. And, and he says, okay, great. Hey, would you be willing to leave a review? And uh, and uh, and here's and here's the link. And and then I then I clicked on the link, and I went and left the review. And within like a within like ten seconds of clicking the link, it, it, it texted me again saying, oh, thanks for leaving a review. And I was like, ah, oh, that's not that. Come on, like give me give me at least like three or four minutes to, to leave that review. So I, I saw that they were doing some smart things. I saw that they were listening for that trigger link to be clicked, but then I saw that they just immediately said thank you. And uh and like the you know the the ultimate you know nirvana with this whole thing would be to you know have Google um know that know that they sent that they left the review and then that would feed back into into high level. We're gonna do just a simple proxy for that, which is basically Hey, they clicked on the review link. Let's give them five minutes to type up something. We'll wait five minutes and then say, you know, thank you so much for leaving a review. Does that make sense? Um, okay, let's jump. Let's jump right in. So, smart review request with landline failover for snapshot. This is it. Do not get overwhelmed. I, I promise you that that these things look a lot more hairier than they than they really are. Zoom uh, out. But, zoom out a little bit so they can see the whole. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so this is what you're getting. This is, this is what you're getting today, and uh, they, nerd, nerd level seven guys. But you know, James <laughs> is just bringing you guys. The, this isn't like hype. Like he's gonna sh like show you how you can create a next yeah. level snapshot to generate more reviews, better yes. client experience. Yes. Give me so, a give me a hash in the hashtag in the comments <laughs> if this if this looks pretty sweet. <laughs> you, I, so I was like, I literally was like, okay, that was cool what they did with my car, taking my car. I was like. I wonder if I could recreate that. So I spent some time, I was tinkering with it and I was like, okay, how do they do that? And uh, next thing I know, people are like, dude, you just replaced like software I'm paying monthly for. Like, can I, can I get this from you? Like, I think BirdEye, BirdEye was one of the ones that people said that they, they pay on a monthly basis for it. I was just like, I had no idea. Like I just was tinkering here. And, and what's, what's really funny from like an ADHD perspective, I was literally getting down on myself. I was like, James Hurst, here you are. You're like not focused. You're you're having fun with this. You're on a you're off on a tangent, you know. And like you're not making any money today, James. And you're off building this thing. Anyways, just a side note. You just you never know. But I, I like to follow the, the 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 rabbit hole sometimes. So we all know with with workflows that um, the every there's only two things in workflows. You guys know what they are. They they are actions uh, and triggers. Okay. I should say triggers and actions. So there's the thing that starts them. And then when, when it starts, what do you want to do? So there's only there's only triggers and actions. And you'll see that pattern in, in, in Zapier as well, that kind of thing, right? What starts it? What do you do afterwards? So I actually leave the trigger uh, in this example. Let me zoom in just a little bit for you guys. I leave the trigger blank because that's going to be a little bit dependent on, on your business processes um but one like one common one that might be could be it could be a tag right uh because you really want to make sure that the job has been done and and uh and you know you haven't just paid for it but it, the services have been delivered so you could do a contact tag right is everybody with me here so you could say maybe maybe it's job completed okay so we're going to start this we're going to start this automation when when the contact receives a tag maybe your admin uh maybe your admin tags it or maybe uh, maybe you maybe your sales cycle you you take payment and you're always delivered within a couple of weeks so you just you could add a two week thing in here after payment so so here's a tag another common one would be possibly uh, opportunity status changed right or or sorry I'm sorry it's not that it's going to be pipeline pipeline stage changed okay let me just um, let me just show an example of that. Can you also make your screen full size? A couple of people are asking for you to, yeah. if you, I mean, if you can, if it's yes. blocking. I'll make don't. it a little bit, I'll make it a little bit bigger 
I, there's the, some of the zoom stuff is, is kind of crowding my workspace too, but okay. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. That's, Am that's I zoomed fine. in, zoom in yeah. enough. That's good. Okay. So let's just, let's just real quick, a brief on a status pipeline changed. Okay. So here attended free party, a lead deposit made completed party. Doesn't completed party seem like maybe the time to say, uh, let's kick off a review request. So, so the dragging, the dragging of that card to completed party could be the thing that kicks this whole thing off. Okay. So let's, let's pretend like we're going to do that. So pipeline status change, uh, in pipeline. So you could have multiple pipelines. So party pipeline, and then from here, pipeline stage is completed party. So that could be the thing that kicks this off, but I'm going to let you guys pick that, uh, with, you know, your knowledge of, of the business processes, how you want to do that. Okay. So guys, well, just so we're all clear, what he's talking about here is how are we going to make the review request start, right? It could yes. be a tag. It could be a pipeline change. It could be like a job completed. And if they use another system and mm -hmm. somehow you have a zap, he's just like, what are you, what's the logic you're going to use to kick this off? Yes. Like a, an individual user really baked into high level is going to move a pipeline. A client mm -hmm. maybe that doesn't even want to look at, at high level, you need to set it in a zap, right? Something behind the scenes. Um, give me a one if you're following along, like, you know, he's going to like show you how he does this and really walk you through it. But uh, okay, cool. Cool. Everyone's with me. They're with you. There was a question somebody was asking about the review link not coming in directly to, to show the, the review, um, the place where they can log the review directly. So maybe we can circle back to that at the end. Okay. Okay. So guys, I don't know about you, but in my, in my case, um, I feel like the reviews kind of nowadays that the, the, the kind of the first way that you get reviews is by your phone, right? Is, so I, that's what I thought I would do too, as well. I'm going to start by sending a text. Okay. So how would you rate us? So this is actually, um, yeah, this is the very first text that goes out and this, you could change the, you can change the copy on this definitely. Um, but this is what I, this is what I put in here for now. Okay. So hi, first name. Thank you for having a power wheels party or visiting my business. Right. Um, if you could rate your experience from one to five, five being the highest, what would you rate your experience? Okay. Um, now I could have made this a, a custom value. If you guys are familiar with custom values. Yep. Um, the thing is just, uh, I think it's just good to go through here and just check the copy. So this is going to force you to, to, uh, you know, to check the copy, to, to make sure that you're using, you know, thank you for getting your plumbing done with oh, this plumbing company. Just the, that, that, that way the, the English will always work. You couldn't say, thank you for having a cascade dental. Um, okay. So there's that. So now we've sent a text. Okay. And we'll come back. We'll come back to this part here, but from that point on, from that point on, the system is just waiting. It's just waiting to see uh, if they're gonna reply. It, just, this, we're just at the step of, you know, what, what number? One through five, okay? And I always like to have these timeouts in, in, my, in my automations because if you don't, then people are gonna queue up there indefinitely. And you're gonna have all these people just sitting there because a lot of people maybe just may, may not ever get it or get back to you or it's a landline or whatever. So I always encourage you to have a timeout because that's gonna let that, that contact f drop through that automation, okay? And eventually out of the whole thing, okay? That makes sense. Yeah. So from there, we're basically into the conditions, which is pretty simple. Branch one, did they type a one? Did they type a two? Did they type a three, a four or a five, okay? Now, um, you'll see, well, for a five-star review, you would definitely want to, uh, to send them your, your link, right. To get a review for, I, someone said, James, why are you, they, they said four, why are you sending them? Why are you sending them to your, why are you sending them to give, leave a review when they answered four? Like, don't, you don't want fours. And I said, you know what? Um, I really like the I really like the 4.7, 4.8, 4.9 type of feel, right? Rather than a hundred five star reviews. Who who's gonna believe a hundred five star reviews? Okay. Now, um, and so yeah, you I let we I let the I let the fours through as well. 
And let me just let me this would be a good time to just kind of talk about um, there are some there are some like guidelines, regulations, FTC kind of things with reviews and review gating. Okay, now this this system kind of does let you do that if if you want to. If you're nervous about that, if you if you know the ins and outs of that, then just give them the opportunity to uh, to leave a review no matter what they say. Okay. Uh, but this kind of this kind of has built into it the ability to say, hey, here's here's the link to leave a review on a four and five, and on one, two, and three. Well, I'm going to keep that feedback internally, try to resolve the situation, and I'm not really going to offer up my uh, my review link. Okay, like I said, it's up to you and your clients on on how you want to navigate that. Uh, if, then if, if, if you're worried, then just let them leave a review no matter what they say, which is totally fine. I, I, get the, I get the idea behind that. So really one, two, and three, those all that kind of really just kind of goes to the same thing. So you'll see these go-to. So the go-to says go to here. So one, two, and three, they get treated the same. And what do I say to them? Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. If you're willing to share, like where did we miss the mark here, right? So trying to get that internal feedback from them. Okay, and then now I'm actually just sitting there waiting, waiting for them as well. And I would probably, like I said, probably add a timeout here, um, so that so they don't just get stuck there. So we could we could put uh, we could put two hours or something, and then it will finally flow through. Okay, and it, I love and that you built this very conversationally, like it's not yeah. click here automation. Like it feels like the owner behind the office yeah. sent this message. And they're yeah. actually interacting and waiting for your response. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so I do try to write conversationally like that. And if you do the automation well enough, then it, it, you, they wouldn't really be any of the wiser. So um, then I say, you know, they may, or not, they may or may not tell you why, right? They've told you they had a bad experience, but they, they may not want to go into the details. So I just said, hey, this is an internal, this is an internal notification. Heads up, contact name just replied saying that their experience was three or below. You may want to reach out, okay? If, if they do offer their, their feedback, it actually takes the, the message body. I love the message body one. Uh, mm -hmm. it, says, it says, hey, you know, Josh Nelson rated the experience less than three and replied, hey, you know, the coffee was too hot. The coffee was too cold. The, the, the plumbing, you know, didn't plumb. That now, is awesome. And so now... You're getting alerted internally to management, whoever's managing customer experience with, with their feedback. Also, as this, as this thing evolved, we, we, you would take a, we would create a note in their, in their contact record to where, um, to where we're actually keeping track of what they said too on, on the contact record as a note in high level on, on their contact, okay? So we're making, we're making a note there. And then we wait 30 seconds and then we, we reply back to them. Okay, thank you. We'll pass this along to management right now. Thanks again. And, and you kind of leave it at that. Some closure. You guys enjoying this? Is this been, I don't know if this is like too basic or is this like, um, uh, hopefully this is valuable for you guys. Let me know. If give give, give uh, James a, a rating on a scale from one to one to five, yeah. one terrible five. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being specific. <laughs> okay. Thanks for not giving us a veiled sales pitch, but actually showing us something useful here. Awesome. <laughs> 4.7. I got a 4.7. <laughs> I appreciate that. That means, you know, cool. They all okay. said not everyone will give you a five regardless. You're That's doing great. Keep, keep going. Awesome. Someone said in the comments that review gating is illegal. So yeah, definitely do your due diligence on, on how you're going to navigate that. Um, and so just, just be aware. Um, okay. Side note, you guys. We haven't really got to how I'm listening for the click yet. Well, that's that's going to be next. Um, this process can be used for anything that you really want to know whether they clicked and done the thing or not. This could be a uh, this could be a webinar sign up. This could be a purchase. This could be clicking the link in the the, the, the key link in your email. The, the the action, the call to action that you want. This pattern can be retrofitted to essentially keep trying over and over again uh, until they do the thing that you want. You're going to know whether they've clicked the link or not. So let's get into that. So four and five is going to be very similar. Okay. So they just rated me a four. Hey, great to hear. Would you be willing to take a minute and share your experience on our Google reviews page? 
and then the trigger link. Okay, so there's the real one. There's the one we just made today. Okay. Um, and so, so you're, you're essentially talking to, to them right now. They, they, they've, uh, you've asked them for a review. They said four. You say, hey, will you leave a review? Now we're waiting to see if they click that link. So waiting up to 15 minutes with that time out there. And then after that 15 minutes, we want to see, did they trigger linked click is your Google review link? Did they click that link? Okay. Um, and so if they did, now that we, now we think they're basically leaving their review. I'm giving them four minutes to, to type up their review. Okay. So four minutes. And then on And honestly, yes, I think I would do, I do argue for those, those timeouts. Maybe I needed to make that improvement. So if, once you get the snapshot, make, make sure that those, um, Oh, I guess that's not the, that's, that's a different thing. So there's wait until wait up to, and then there's just a straight up wait. This is just a straight up wait four minutes later. Uh, thank you so much for leaving a review. We look forward to seeing you again soon on the four star review. Would you be willing to share what we could have done to earn a five, right? There's something, there's something that wasn't, wasn't great. So then this one actually <clears throat> waits for up to four more hours for that reply. And then you, 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 you send yourself a text saying, Hey, this is, they rated the experience of four and they just replied, um, you know, yeah, everything was really, really great, but they were late. Something that just wasn't quite right. So then we're doing that same pattern again, where we're going to make the notes and we're going to let them know we're going to pass it on to management because why, you know, we didn't get that five-star review. So kind of, kind of similar in that, in that regard. Now, if they don't, if they haven't clicked that link, I actually just kind of come back. This is, I'm going down the no branch now. And I'm reiterating that you left a four out of five rating. And just, this is 15 minutes later. Hey, thanks for the four out of five. Would you be willing to, and I'm just basically going back to the top. Okay. Asking for that link click again. So basically all I did was uh, duplicate this kind of that, that flow. And I just did it again here. So this is that same thing. Again, I'm basically just listening. I'm listening for that same link to be clicked 15 minutes later. And, uh, you know, and so it's, it's the same thing. You could, I'm only, I'm not going to be, I'm going to, this is more persistent than anybody else probably, you know, out there. I'm going to try a couple times, you know, a couple different ways. I'm not going to be overly persistent about it, but that's, that's kind of how, and then, so the five-star review, very similar, right? Um, thanks so much. Rated their, uh, I'll leave in a note. They rated their experience five stars and, and at least they clicked the link, the review link to leave a review. I don't know for sure that they left a review. Okay. So that's, that's kind of the five-star review. Very, very similar. Okay, Guys, let me know if you're, if you're, if you're following along, just put a yes in the comments, right? We're sending out a text message. Hey, how, you know, how do we do one, one out of four? They give mm -hmm. us a three or less. We write back, oh, sorry about that. And we make a note and our team follows up manually. They give mm -hmm. us a, a four or five. We say, awesome. Will you write us a review? And we have the automation that's following up until they click the link that takes mm -hmm. them to the place where they can write the review. Thank you. Very simple, very elegant but also very, very effective. Um, yeah. Okay, lots of yeses coming in. Keep going, this is, this is awesome. We haven't shared the snapshot. Someone's asked about the snapshot yet. Um, I haven't, it's gonna be at the end. Uh, I'm not too concerned about, you know, people had to leave or work, you know, I, I, I know what that's like. So we'll, we'll, get it, we'll get it to you. Okay, guys, this is kind of cool now. Look at this. Let's say, whatever, let's say that trigger that started this off, what if that, what if that came in at six in the morning? Right. So I put in some, so, so what I did was I said, Oh, I've, I've SMS review. I've tried once. <clears throat> I'm just, this is just sending the link saying, this is just the initial link of, of, uh, how would you rate us? Okay. If they don't, if they haven't answered us in 30 hours, this is, this waits for 30 hours. Then we go down and we try SMS tried two. What I like about 30 hours is that, it's going to wait an entire day, but also another six hours. So I'm, I'm trying not only a different day, but a different time of day. So now that 6 a.m. on a Monday turns into noon on a Tuesday or 6 p.m. on a Wednesday. Okay, you with me? So mm -hmm. that 30-hour that 30 wait 
is going to try that person again in the next day at a different time of day, six hours off of what they did previous. Okay. And in fact, on the second time, I also put in something here, which is, hey, Saturday, Sunday, let's let's let them do their Saturday, Sunday thing. Maybe when they're back to the office, let's hit them up again. So we've got, a, we're trying to get them a, a couple different ways there. Multiple times, different times a day, different days, not on the weekends. So it, it keeps on trying and it go, you see it goes back up to the top with the go-to and it drops them back in to wait for 30 hours if it doesn't happen. And then after three times of trying by text, it says, it's not working by text, let's try email. So now, now we're coming down. So I, uh, my tags are, I've tried once by text, twice by text, three times by text, okay? I've tried once by email, I've tried twice by email. So now I'm in trying by email one time and now the email goes out. Oh, sorry, that's email two. This one, this one doesn't have the cool, you know, reply this for that. It's just like, hey, uh, here, would you be willing to take a, here, would you be willing to leave a review and there's a trigger link, okay? So it's just an email. You can change the copy on this to, to whatever you want to be. It will basically, um, it will basically send an email. And if, if, if that does that, if that still doesn't work, it will try one more time and send the email again in 30 hours later. And then finally, there's this one, which is to you, to the owner or, or the, to yourself or the owner, whoever else, hey, we tried five different times to get a review from Josh Nelson and now we're giving up, <laughs> you know? And it's like, at that point, you, you know, you've done what you could, if you've done what you could automatically. So that's it, that's, that's it. That's love it. Yeah. Love it guys. So ideally, as you see, as you can see how you could use this, you could see why this would work because people are very responsive to an SMS where they're not super responsive to a, um, to an email. However, it's, it's sending a couple of emails and then it's, I mean, it's sending a couple of SMSs. And then if they don't respond, it sends a couple of emails and then it sends it off to the team. Maybe, maybe they set up a process where somebody in the office calls now and says, Hey, Try to reach out to you a couple of times to get some feedback to yeah. see what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, mm -hmm. So, guys, give us a give us a yes if this is cool and you think you could use this um, in your in your agency, right? To generate better reviews, to have something kind of unique to show your client, right? Because awesome. your client's seen like review automation before, but to be able to show them, look, we're gonna we're gonna use SMS because of this. You can tell a very compelling story, which is gonna generate you know real a, a real high level of interest. Um, so this this is awesome, man. Thank you so much for, for sharing with the group. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to. Yeah. Now, I actually misspoke because this is where I left it off myself. And I said I was going to come back to this because I knew that some of the demographics uh, are older in the landlines. And so I thought, well, so I thought, well, how can I, you know, I know when you send a, a, re, a SMS to, to a landline that it, it fails, like, could I, could I somehow in high level, could I somehow listen for the, for the failure of, of that, of me trying to send that text to the landline? And so I tinkered with it some more and that this is the part that I said I would come back to. So still, we, we still, now imagine we're gonna text a landline. So now this is going out to a landline and it's gonna, it's gonna fail, okay? Now, if I pull up a contact here, oh, I already had a, I had a landline test. Yeah, so I was testing landlines, right? So when I, so yeah, this was a known landline that, you know, and when I sent it, well, what did high level do? See how it said here. Thank you for having, could you, uh, J, hi, James landline. Thank you for having a power wheels party. It was unsuccessful. Okay. Unsuccessful. Cause it was a landline a high level automatically DNDs text messaging on that contact record. So I said to myself, what if I sent the text? And then waited a minute for the, for the, maybe a minute, two minutes, however many, it doesn't really matter. It's all automated. It's all happening in the background. What if I then waited a, a minute for the potential DND to happen? So I text it, it fails, high level DNDs on the text. So then my condition is if the DND 
is enabled for SMS, then don't bother with texting them anymore and just go send that first email. It's just that simple. Amazing. So it kind of skips the the three failed ones. It's like, oh, we don't have a we don't have a live cell phone number. Yeah. Go straight to the two emails or whatever the number is. You got it. That and that should be that should be it. it Craig right. Craig says freaking brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> so they so, all want to know where to get the snapshot and okay. they want to know what they need to do. There's yeah. no, no sales pitch here, guys. There's but no sales pitch. James uh, is building up his YouTube channel, so we need <laughs> yes. you guys. He's just giving you some massive value. <laughs> And so, like, you need to do something in return here. You guys, you guys, yes, that's right. I'm, this is crazy because um, yeah, the YouTube channel has been growing. It's pretty, it's, I've been putting in some time here. But, yeah, I'm, I'm about to cross that, that milestone of 1,000 subscribers. And Josh knows how much work it is to grow one of these. But, um, and I, I, I will tell you about a video that goes hand in hand with this, which you're going to love, too, as, as just an extra bonus. But what's the best way? I ha- basically, I have, a, I have the snapshot uh, link right for the high level snapshot link should i just put it in the chat or or should i I drop the link to your youtube channel let's have everybody go subscribe because like uh like damon said this alone is worth at least 500 dollars a month oh dude so yeah so thank you so much guys if you got value go subscribe to his channel it's the least you could do and then he's going to give you the the snapshot link okay um thank you guys so do you, where do you want me to put the snapshot link, I guess? Oh, well. in the chat. Do you see the chat box? Oh, yes. Okay, I will. Okay, here we Drop go. Drop it right there. Okay. Let me let me put this in and make sure everyone can get it. Okay. Um, let, does, that, does that come through for you guys? I haven't seen it. Um, oh, me, I can I, also oh, pull oh, it up. No, I just sent it to Mike, direct message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got to find the everyone. Uh, there we go. Leela. Leela. Hold on. How do I, am I going to be able to find the, the Leah just posted it for us guys. So you're, you're good. That's my, um, that's my channel. Here's the snapshot. All right, wait, guys, go to the channel real quick. Click the subscribe button. Um, (laughs) press like, start watching his videos because you can see like he, he gets very technical with this stuff, which is amazing. Um, awesome. I'm over right now. You guys, oh my goodness. You're flattering me. Let's get the link for the snapshot. I, I put it in. Let me know if, oh my gosh, the guys, that's cool. I've been four years at this, you guys. It's crazy. So yeah, my, I joined in 2018. I started posting. So it's been, it's taken way too long. Um, All right, in, the, in the comments here, um, if you look at the chat, again, this is for those of you that are live, because that's part of the deal. Um, he has the link where you can grab the snapshot. So grab that link. And then James, I'm not sure if, if you can stick around to answer some questions or I, I still have a f- couple more things. I need okay, to- perfect. Yeah, go for yeah. it. I uh, sorry, sorry. So you guys, I, I made I made an install guide. It's an unlisted video on, on the channel as well. Okay, so you're gonna have you're essentially gonna have a, a recording of what we just all what we just talked about. Okay, and it's gonna be a little bit more on the side of like, hey, you need to go and um, you know change you know you need to change some of the basically it's just showing you. Like you don't want Power Wheels parties to show up, okay? In, in yours, this, that's what it's, it's literally gonna have Power Wheels parties in this snapshot that I give you. So you've gotta go through this thing and tweak it and make it yours or, or genericize it with custom values if you're gonna you know, send this out to lots of different clients, okay? Change the English so it works with no matter how you, you know, hope you had a good experience with our company and then company name, something like that, okay? So I have, I have the install guide. Let me show you what that looks like here. It's just, it's an unlisted YouTube video. Ross, yeah, that link has the, has the workflow he just showed you. So you can customize this, make it your own and, and roll it out in your sub accounts for your, for your clients. Okay, so here's the unlisted Smarter Review Request Snapshot Installation Guide. This is essentially me going through, showing you how it works, and showing you how to install install the snapshot. So someone said, how do I do this? I already have high level. I don't need to sign up for high level again. I'm going to show you. I, I set up a whole other account, and I, sh- I walk through what it's even like to bring in the snapshot. Okay? We go through these different things from scratch. So you'll love this. Okay? Let me post this in the chat. Everybody with me? 
So here's the install guide. Make sure you update the copy to use your business name in a few places. There's the install guide. So not only did it give you the snapshot, <laughs> he gave you like a step-by-step -step on how to, how to implement it and, and modify it and make it your own. Yes. What a guy. Um, last thing, You're over guys. a thousand subscribers That's, now. Uh, Michael, Ray, Michelle Ray, Michael Ray wants you to know. I Congratulations, kudos. Thanks, guys. It's crazy. It's kind of crazy to see that that rollover after four years of us. I mean, look at look at all these videos. I'm, I'm up to 123 videos. Anyways, um, here, here's the one I can leave you with this and we'll open it up for Q&A. But there is a perfect little uh, part two bonus that goes with this, which is called automatically automatically reply to your Google reviews with this hack okay um so you're giving us a new hack now on yes. how to automatically re reply to google reviews for, yes. for clients yes. all right guys give me a one if you're excited to hear about <laughs> this and then we'll drop the link again because a couple of people, yeah lots of lots of okay. great little ninja stuff being shared here man this is this is awesome so let me pardon the ad but cool webinar presentation let me, Okay, here we go. I'm skipping the ad. So it uses Zapier, but basically now, now your customer, now your customer has left that review. Or, yeah, the per, the customer has left that review, and uh, you go into Zapier, and the, we talked about triggers and actions, right? The trigger is in Zapier new review in Google My Business. You connect it up to your to your account. I began. It'll probably be Power of Those Parties, right? Because that's so there's the power of those parties. You connect up um, Google My Business. And then one of the action steps is to, is to reply, create a reply in Google My Business. When, when that zap comes in, you kind of have access to their, their handle. Could be their first and last name. You know whether it's a four or five star review. So we do some cool things so to where um, you could uh, leave some sort of review if it's a four and five star, uh, uh, some kind of reply. Thank you for the blank star review, et cetera. And, and also, if you did a couple different branches, you could. it's almost like, it's kind of like canned responses. And so it could, it, I set up this little thing that basically it generates a random number from like let's let's say one to three or one to five so it will go down five different paths and um it'll go down five different paths and it'll just it will change up so it's not like thank you for the five-star review thank you for the five-star review it's gonna it's gonna feel a little bit more natural you can make you can add as many of those canned responses as you want um and so this this kind of goes perfectly with that because now you are automating we talked about at the beginning, Google seeing that activity on your Google My Business profile. Hey, this is an active account. Uh, I've seen updates made, pictures. I'm seeing reviews, and I'm seeing the business owner is active as well, replying to these reviews, giving you the the SEO, the SEO juice. Okay, amazing. So, so he's showing you how to create automatic reviews for your clients on a very consistent basis, mm -hmm. and then next level, how do we then? automatically respond to those reviews. So it seems like the company's being super responsive. Um, we actually charge a monthly fee for what we call reputation response. Reputation. Um, and so clients will pay you 250 to 300 bucks a month just for you to keep a pulse on their reviews and go in and post replies for them. Um, and you know you can get them 90% of the way there with, with this type of automation, which is, pretty, which is pretty epic. So that is all I have for you guys. Um, someone posted the, uh, the link in, in, in the chat and I'm yep. open now to stay for as long as people want. Let me actually, actually shoot. I hope I didn't have any other meetings after this. Okay. <laughs> I have time. Um, cause I kind of got in the zone. I was like lost track of time. Um, so yeah, I have, I know I have like 45 minutes till my next appointment, um, to just help and answer questions. And, and so first of all, guys, um, one more time. If, you, if this was awesome and he just gave you something very cool that you're going to be able to use and get value from, uh, just give a big, like, this was great or like a, a hashtag, hashtag, hashtag or something like that in the comments so that James feels the love. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Yes. James, you brought, you brought some great insights here. 
super, super valuable, super, super good stuff. Um, guys, make sure that you have subscribed to his channel. Um, pay attention because he's posting cool stuff on a very consistent basis. And then um, I just dropped the link again where you can get the snapshot, the how-to, and the little training on how to automate the review response. Uh, let's open up for questions. I'm sure you guys have some specific questions about this or automation. Go ahead, James. Can I answer one of the questions I saw? Absolutely. So um, somebody said, somebody said that um, they're having troubles with the snapshot URL. Can, can, can anyone confirm that the, so some, a couple people have said that the link is not working. Now, okay. So some people are getting it. I, one thing I'll have you try for those that it's not working for is, um, is do it in an incognito window. Yep. Okay. So what's going to happen is you're going to put it into an incognito window. Um, and then you're going to have to log in again with the 2FA with the, with your phone or email into high level. So do that little dance first. So some people are saying that it, it, it was fine. So I'm, I'm the, thinking the snapshot is good. Yeah. It's it gets a little quirky with with caching on high yeah. level when you bring in a snapshot. So like he said, open up an incognito window, log in, and then yeah. press that link and it'll work just fine for you. Someone else is saying to use app.gohighlevel.com. Maybe don't log into your branded uh, white label domain. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Bud's asking if there's any way to make it just with the email only launch. Yeah, so the um, the email only. So let me let me just say that uh, I've seen other people. So the email with the replies and stuff, you would have to have your mail gun settings set up perfectly if you wanted to track that. You know, one through five. Um, some people you could put them to a uh, to a landing page. You can do some of this kind of similar stuff to a landing page. I, I haven't built that out yet personally. Um, I believe that Bayant Singh. Uh, with Extendly, he has uh, something along those lines. So maybe check with him. You, you've seen people that I did the I did the one through five on a on a um, on a text message. They'll do a, they'll do a cute little thing where you pick the number of stars on on a on a landing page, right? Mm. Couple couple questions here. Uh, uh, if we can hop into them, um, Ross is saying. He's tried a couple sub accounts and the reputation management link isn't taking them to the place where they see the, the review like stars. Can you show that process one more time for the, sure. for the group? Sure. So um, one of the problems potentially is that you are already logged in. You're the, o you're the owner of that business, right? And so I did the same thing where I, um, where I, I went to a different Chrome profile that wasn't the owner of that business. So basically I took that review link and I went to a different Chrome profile. We can talk about that too someday. Uh, and then I pasted it here and then it put me, I was already, lo I'm logged into Google, right? So, cause they want you to be logged in so they can kind of track that. And then it opens up with the deep, with a, with a deep link. So hopefully Ross, does that answer the question? Hopefully. Yeah. Um, if anybody has a follow-up question on that, let us, let us know. Uh, Thaddeus, I saw your question come in a couple of times. He's saying he might've missed this, but is there any way to integrate this with service Titan um, in order to pull in the phone number and email? Um, I mean, with any system that you can zap out or like push data out with a phone number and a and an email address, you can zap that in and have have a trigger via a tag or a workflow trigger to kick this whole process off. Um, the integration on Service Titan specifically is not as as easy as that. Like you have to really go um, deep into the API. Um, but most most of the the systems this this can be done relatively simply. Okay, someone's asking me about make.com. Um, I, they, I don't know specifically, uh, but I'll just tell you that I do love make.com. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like Zapier, but it's cheaper and better. It's really for the, it's really for power users, guys. Mm. 
but uh, I, someone I, I totally respect and trust got me onto it. And so I haven't like gotten off of Zapier, but uh, let me just give you a little taste of, of what of what you can kind of do and the kind of how it looks. So kind of stuff like this. So you have, it's just very visual, right? And uh, you can do lots of cool things uh, um, with it. Um, and there's a free version too, if you, but there is a learning curve. Like this is like, I would say this is like your, you know, your programmer marketer type thing. It's a little bit, you know, these are API calls, things like that. Uh, but I'm a big fan of, of Make. So for the person that asks, Make formerly Integromat, big fan. Okay, that's what Integromat, what used to be, okay. Yeah, yeah, formerly Integromat. Carrie says, this is awesome. Thanks for all the tips and generosity. Jim's asking, this was truly awesome. Have you considered adding a small delay after they reply with the one to five so the text doesn't seem like a bot because it comes so quick? Let's see. Yeah, you could easily add that. I don't know. I don't know how long. I've, um... Yeah, the beauty of this, guys, is, you know, it's it's completely editable inside the workflow yeah. builder. So yeah. make it your own, like the text, the the delays, you know, this is a, you know, very great starting point. And you could you could take this as far as you want and be as creative as you want with it yeah yeah i mean i did wait a minute there for the dnd &D. so i guess he's saying once they reply back five uh -huh. it's, oh there's no delay once they write the five so he was saying oh, okay. maybe okay yeah. give that like a, a one minute or like 30 can you 30, do 30, 30 second seconds. increments on these yeah you 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 it's actually would come in as 0.5 minutes that's how they do it 0.5 yeah, that's not that's not bad feedback. That's not bad feedback. Joel Joel Kitty's trying to help Ross with this. You need to have the GMB connected to go high level, not just a Google account, I believe. So yeah, you'd have to sync it in the back end through integration to their to their Google My Business listing, the Google profile listing, and that's where that link is extracted from. Like so if it's not synced in that way, you're not going to get a a good link. Right. Right, right, right. Thanks, Joel. Uh, John says, work around for finding the review link. He given, he's given you guys how you can go and find it on your own, right? Log into business.google.com, click the left sidebar, get more reviews, and then share that particular link. And it will do the same thing, assuming the person that clicks it is already logged into Google. They'll get the little prompt for the, for the stars. Thaddeus, let's jump on after on this service Titans. I, I, I mean, we're still trying to figure that out ourselves, but it would be super helpful if you could just pull that straight out of service yeah. Titan. Uh, Joseph brings up a good point. So um, on reputation management, they kind of had uh, this send review request thing. So I would say this is this is possibly a drawback. Uh, you can see they kind of had, you know, they, this is like the, the, the easy button version, right? This is the, hey, I want to um, follow a custom schedule. You know, I want to send it once, etc. So there's some there's some stuff here, and you can kind of you're kind of getting some of those things that I just don't think it's near as smart, right? Um, as as kind of what 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 we've done here today, um, and so I would say one drawback since since uh, so where do they go to see their reputation? So I don't think that these possibly end up in this kind of dashboard. Uh, at least as far as your invites goal goes, I, I would think that it would flow through to, to these here. So take that for, for whatever it's worth. Yeah, this is more of a backdoor. You're having a conversational, hey, how do we do one out of five? They yeah. write back a number. The system tells you what they wrote back and it kind of takes them down this track. Um, it gives you a very conversational review flow. Like if the owner wasn't using automation, they would probably do. Um, it helps prevent them from getting the one star negative review in some cases because they're able to jump on it right away based on the response. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it kind of follows up in a variety of ways. Uh, don't miss the elegance of using SMS versus email. Um, email isn't going to get seen. Basically, nobody does that. But when they get a text message from a company they just did business with, you know, they're, they're very likely to click that link and spend a couple seconds to post a review, especially if it felt like the owner said, oh, wow, thanks. I'm so glad you had a good experience. Here's the link, you know? Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Someone says, is review getting a concern? Uh, some people said that it's illegal. Uh, and if you're worried about that, 
then you just give them the give them the link every time, no matter what they say. I mean, he talked about this at the beginning. There was a long, a long disclosure about the potential hazards of review gating and um, all of that. Yeah. So, um, I'll, I'll give you one. Since we since, since you saw me, uh, since I kind of sneak peeked it a little bit, I have another video on my channel. It's called "How I Use uh, Google Google Profiles for My Clients." Right. So, I'm if you're like me, I'm switching between clients. So every time I get a new client, I will uh, I will make a new Google profile, and now. I'm into his Zapier, I'm into his GHL, I'm into his stuff, right? So I've got mm. everything in LastPass, but now if, if ever I wanna switch, um, I just switch clients. I switch Google profiles and um, yeah, it's pretty slick if you're not doing that already. That's awesome, yeah. I've got a couple of those. I didn't realize you basically could use as many as you wanted like That's that. Right. That's <laughs> right. The first day that we signed up for monday.com, our department, Let's see. Was already able to connect our. Okay. So awesome, guys. Is, this yeah, has been is... this has been great, James. Thanks so much for sharing, man. I hope you guys got tons of value. I know that you did. Um, maybe even picked up a couple of things on how to use high level that were just kind of like, well, I could use something like that for something outside of reviews, right? So some good good insights. Um, Let's see, Jim says, already importing and, and customizing it now. <laughs> uh, what I want you guys to do is share as much love as you can for James in two places, on his YouTube channel and in the high-level community. Like, go and say, man, James just did an amazing master class on generating reviews with high-level. Like, blow him up in that group because oh. what he did here is very uncommon, right? He took something he built that he could easily sell for a premium, and he gave it to you and, like, showed you exactly how to use it. So the best way, I think, to, to show the love would be in those two places. Uh, James, anything else you'd like them to do? No, I just, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, Josh. And I'll, I'll be at the conference. If, you, if anyone else is going to the conference, please please come say hi, let me know. Um, if you get completely stuck on something, have some questions. I mean, this this thing, I, I, I mean, I, it's kind of, I'm kind of giving it to you as is, right? Uh, so that, you know, I, I mean, within reason, I, I, you know, I can, I could answer questions and things, um, but hopefully you can just kind of tweak it to your needs and kind of take it as is. So. Amazing. Great work. Thanks for being on here, everybody. Thanks for listening in. Thanks for all the great engagement. Uh, and James, great work. Thanks so much for sharing. Thank you, we'll, we'll end the, the session here, everybody. We'll talk right, to you bye, later. Guys.